Hello, my sparries. It's Hey Keisha from Life Exchange. It's the New Year's. I took some time off in December, I would say. In December, I took some time off. I have tons of content. I have dreams that I need to share with you guys. This year is going to be a wonderful year and God has given me a message and I can't wait to um, to release these messages to you guys. First and foremost, I wanted to just discuss or for us because it's a new year, just wanted to discuss goal setting. Like, do you set goals? Jot down some goals down below and let me know what your goals for this year is. We can set our goals together and you know encourage each other and pushing each other towards getting our goals and making sure that we achieve those goals. So I will be sharing my goals with you guys and there is tons of stuff that going on and I'm excited. Uh, I've gotten breakthrough. There's just so much stuff that God has been doing in my life and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. Stay tuned. So guys, first I am going to share my short-term goals with you. For me, my short-term goals, I have a lot more on my short-term goal list than what I have my long-term list. And I'm just going to go over some. I've been looking down because I wrote these down prior to speaking with you guys. So for my short-term goal, what I wanted to do is every morning when I get up, or as I get up or before I get up, I want to be able to write down five things that I'm grateful for every morning, every day. So if you wanna add that to your short-term goal too, make sure that you do that. I want it to be 365 days of the year, getting up, being grateful for something at least five things that I can find to be grateful for. My second one is I want to tithe more. I want to throw offering more. Tithing, sending my tithe offerings to church, or it can be for me. I personally don't think that you you have to like give to the church. I also think tithing can be like given to someone that's in need, speaking good thing in people's life, um, if you see someone that's hungry, giving them food, giving them clothes, you know, that's a form of tithing for me. So I want to be able to do that at least every two weeks when I collect my doughs. I want to be able to give back something. And the third one is, so I started my own business, but I will discuss that with, with you in my other video. My third goal is to try. I am going to. I don't want to try. Well, try my hardest and to get to land at least two to three clients for my business per month to the minimum is two to three client more but the minimum two to three clients per month would be my third goal my fourth one is to fast and pray more i've learned the pandemic um has taught me how to pray and fast more and i've seen breakthrough in my life there's just so many like things happening in my life that it only happened through prior and fasting and because of that i want to put that into my goal to do it much more often if i can do it monthly either three days or seven days once per month i'm good I, I normally I do it like twice per year or something like that but no I want to put it in my goal my short-term goal where I can do it monthly three days or seven day fasting whatever God led me led me to do that's what I wanted to do and that's my fourth goal for my four, fourth short-term goal my fifth short-term goal is given to someone in need every three months as I said it's like thighing is to give in, just to give to someone probably someone i don't know i can randomly pass by give someone a 20 bucks or so or paying my tide uh, offering monthly but giving to someone in need i want to be able to adopt a family like every three months give like a good amount of either money or something good even in my business that I'm starting, if I can give someone, save someone life 
with something. I want to be able to do that at least every three months. Uh, the sixth one is making a difference in someone else's life. And it sounds so close to all of my other ones, but I want to make a difference in someone else's life. I want someone to say thank you. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have made such change or, you know, make such drastic move. But because of what you said or what you did and how you helped me, I was able to achieve. So that's my sixth one. I want to make an impact in someone else, in someone's life. Seven. It's my seventh one is what everyone, every new year, everyone look towards doing and say they're going to do it, but never get it done. So my seventh one is losing five to 10 pounds. I have gained so many weight over the pandemic a lot of weight i eat so much there's nothing else to do but to sit in the house watch tv and eat 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 so right now thinking of i want to actually lose five to ten pounds at least five pounds i really don't want to lose pounds weight i want to lose my stomach area i want to be able to fit in my bathing suit when summer comes so yes that's one of my goals it's not my top goal but it's something that i'm definitely going to work towards so if you want to go through that with me we can encourage each other together and be our weight loss buddies eight so i've started my natural hair growth normally it takes i would go back i will relapse and just go back to perming my hair but I've started it and um, I will be showing you guys my natural hair growth as I remove, well, it's because of the holiday I had to do, doll up myself, but I will be showing you guys my natural hair growth and probably doing some videos in regards to it. I want to go naturally, just, you know, start loving myself. So if any one of you girls want to join me in that one, go ahead, let me know. In the description and we can work together number nine i want to be more consistent with my youtube i've started youtube about 10 years ago and ever since the last 10 here it's been inconsistent and my last one i said i built up a big following or a big subscriber thing but it wasn't, I was following other YouTubers. I follow what they were doing. I was trying to do the makeup thing, do the chit chat thing, do the gossiping thing. And it was not healthy. And I guess there is some people that come across my video and assume I was speaking stuff about them and reported my videos. And YouTube ended up canceling my channel. So I, I don't want to go into that route anymore. Well, I'm totally changed, so I know that I wouldn't be doing that. So this is now a ministry. So to me right now, if I have one subscriber watching my video, it doesn't matter. I just want to do what God wants me to do. And if it's two subscribers, that's okay. So right now I'm doing this video and it doesn't matter who sees this video or not. This is what God wants me to do. This is what he orders me to do and I'm just following his footstep. So I just want to be more consistent. Hopefully 10 years from now, someone watching my video, their lives change based on what they're seeing on my video. And the last one for my short term goal is starting a podcast. I don't know. I find it difficult. I've been doing some research and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is an headache. I don't know. So I'm going to do more research and I want to be able to start a podcast. So the same thing I'm doing on YouTube, whatever message God gives me, I want to relate it on podcast because there are some people that does not really quite want to go on YouTube, watch videos. They rather listen to podcasts. Like when, while they're at work and stuff, just, you know, so I, I want to cross that bridge. So anyone that wants to start their own podcast, we can, again, help each other. So give me your energy and I give you mine and then we can like take over this year together. So that's my short term goal. Let's go into my long-term goal. So my long-term goal for 2021. I don't have a lot, as I said, 
The first one is I wanted to do some home renovation. So I will be showing you guys when I'm doing my tour. I probably do a tour in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, my home tour but there is a wall between my living room and my kitchen that I want to knock out completely because it served no purpose and I want to be able to have like an open concept so that is one of my first goal that I want to achieve hopefully before the summer so that's a long-term goal because it will cost me some dollars to get it done. And my second one is taking my business from zero dollars, from zero to five figures. I don't want to jump to six figures. I want to be taking my business from zero dollars to five figures. It doesn't matter if it's hundred dollars I make. But I want to be able to take my, um, right now it's just starting. I just la launched today actually. So I want to take my business from $0 to a five figure. I'll be linking down website down below. So if you guys want to learn more about what my business is and how I can help you guys, then it will be linked down below. And that I, would sh I should say, I wanna be able to take it to five figure within the next six months. And the third one is taking my business again to six figure by the ending of 2021. So my fourth goal is investment, home investment, real estate investment. I wanna be able to invest in a few more homes within the next one and a half to two years, I wanna be able to do that. So that's my fourth long-term goal. It probably will show up again on my long-term goal next year, but you never know. Sometime God will do abundantly. He will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can imagine. I probably be able to do this at the end of the year within the next six months, but that's a part of my goal and my fifth goal is which is the last goal that i have is financial freedom i want to be able to not have anything i want to be able to just i see something i wanted i pay cash for it and that's it financial freedom freedom from credit cards stop using credit cards which I've already started, I, I paid off. That has to do with my breakthrough. So I will share that with you guys. But financial freedom of not having any form of bill to be paid within the next two, three years, that's my goal. So that's one of my long-term goals. And again, if God says, you know what, this is going to be your short-term goal, then so be it. As I said, he is a part, he is a way maker and he will make ways for us even when we don't see that he's making it he's probably putting all of this that i wrote down into place already and i don't see it but i'm here to share it with you guys if it does happen before it's time and goal setting i believe it's best like sometimes we think of the things that we want to get done the things that we want to do and we only think about it we don't write it down it's good guys it's good it's good it's a good principle to write it down write down everything that you need it doesn't matter if it's the smallest thing even if you're going to the grocery store write down your groceries that you need when you get it you cross it off cross it off when you do your goal setting your short-term long-term goal as you get them you cross them all cross them all and see how much you have achieved within a year within a month with such short period of time that you set your goals for so i suggest for you guys to write down your goals and you know let's check at the end of the year to see how how our goals went if we achieve all or if we achieve most it's good to work together so i'll see you guys in my next video hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month